recommends they build a farm. I feel like the city probably has plenty of growth for now. Maybe I'll eventually remove the forts after India is destroyed. But, ah, until then, no. Better is bread with a happy heart than wealth with vexation. I should probably start building markets. Money's good. You go back out and auto explore. Go improve that pile. Say how long it takes. Okay, it's gonna take one more turn. I just wanna see how long they'll each take so I can kind of do the math on to see how much it's gonna take all, all around. I've never seen a fort in this game, they're obviously pretty big. So anyways, okay, it takes four turns per road. I'm going to guess the way they're going to go down. I'm thinking it's going to be something like that. Maybe not. Maybe they'll actually go through India. I hope not. But yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times four is what? 36, I think. 36 turns. Um... Yeah, we're gonna buy you a worker, dude. I'm not waiting 36 turns for them to come down here to get the iron. I mean, it's gonna be a while, but... Still. Market. Under attack by who? Barbarians? You can deal with that. Yeah, barbarians. Yeah, you're a bit too far away for everyone. Deal with it yourself. Yeah, I can wait nine turns. Go improve the stone while you're at it. Or while you're waiting. How long will that take? Eight turns, okay. That should be fine. market. The city's just so far away. Ros oh, it, it's Rostov, not Yaroslavl. Which one's Yaroslavl? Maybe it's the fifth one. I don't know. Yaroslavl's one of them. I know that. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. I think it is, though. Yaroslavl. It's like Y-A-R-O then I think it might be an apostrophe. Or no, it's Y A R O L. I think then it's an apostrophe S V L or something. Or something like that. It's Euros level. That's all I know. That's how I pronounce it. That was not eight turns. Maybe it was. I don't know. How do I see? Oh, I have a scout down there. I was like, how do I have vision down here? India still apparently has their spearmen down here attacking random barbarians. I mean, I guess they're helping Sidon. With good reason, they would be giving them military units if they allied with them. Oh wait, there's cattle up there. I'll go get that in a bit. Wow. It's actually a decent few um, barbarians. Or gold or iron break. Four more so.
I think they know I'm trying to kill them. Because, yeah, Sydney. But, ah. Uh, I don't know how you. Because if you. How do you get to peace with. or er, allies with a city state without giving them all of your money? I don't know. Because, I mean, like, I can give them gifts, but it barely gives them anything, really. I mean. Well, let me see. Does India have, like, no money now? India doesn't have very much money. Wait, he doesn't have any horses, does he? I just realized that. And he obviously doesn't have his iron mind. He might not even know it exists still. Yeah, he has no horses. Whereas I have 15. Because I'm awesome like that. And, yeah. Even if he did have iron, he'd only be able to produce two units with it. Yeah, the forts look kind of cool. The walls look a lot more menacing than the ones around my city, which I guess is to be expected. You wouldn't really want to be a citizen living in walls like that. Well, I would. Those look awesome, but, you know, that's just me. I'm I'm kind of kidding, because, I mean, it'd be kind of oppressive living in walls like this. Whereas that looks more, like, natural and less, like, I'm going to kill you and devour your soul. Hey, Gandhi. You totally yeah, want to open borders again, to right? To oh, that, that, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny, Gandhi. Guys, Yep, that, that works. I'm not giving you horses for my open borders. I'm not... Tw your 27 gold is not worth my horses and my open borders. Your 27 gold is worth, like, a thing of wheat. I don't know. I, mean, I guess it would be. 27 gold for a little bit of wheat. How many turns is that going to take? Seven. There is only one good knowledge and one. Yay! Now, St. Peter, do we even have any gold anywhere? I don't think we do. St. Petersburg, gold does not exist. I'm telling you, gold does not exist. It's not like our currency is gold or anything, no. Gold does not exist. <laughs> And it is, it, whatever. I wouldn't mind having a national college. Or a national treasury. So I need how many more? I need two more. I need one in Novgorod and one in Rostov. <coughs> I keep wanting to call it Yaroslavl. <coughs> uh, I'm going to build another horseman. I kind of forgot I had that horseman over there until I just said I'm going to build another horseman. I was like, wait, yeah, I do have a horseman, don't I? When you decommission a unit that has, like, iron or horses, do you get the iron or horses back? I hope so. Build a... I agree with you. We do need a settler, like, over here, but... Cape Town. We can't. I'm sorry. Um, so in the meantime, build a spearman to kill Gandhi. Um... Go down there? No, cattle, I forgot about that. Oh, 
almost done with the road, I think. Just like another 24 turn, just something like that. The road's gonna cost so much money. Wow, we're making a lot of money though. I guess from all the markets that I built? And 17 from trade routes. I should have walls around Rostov too, I just realized they're kinda close to India, and they're my weakest city. So, yeah. 32 turns, that is unacceptable. We're making so much money I can purchase the wrong tile. Yeah, we're making so much money, all the money I just spent I can make back in like 5 turns. Um, we'll build farms there eventually, just not right now. You can build a farm over here, though. Yeah. Or maybe you'll build villages there, I don't know. Go up with the road. It doesn't look, work like it does in Civ 4, where it'll just take, it'll, like, you could stack the workers and it'd take um, half as long to build the road, so instead of it being four turns per tile, it'd be two. Instead, it's just gonna be have to, have to be the roads will meet up. Saves us from the bureaucracy is its inefficiency. Yay, so now all my farms that are irrigated will have plus one food, so that one and that one. And that one... I need a village over there. Yeah. How much would it cost to buy a library in each city? Too much. Well, you can build a library. Because I re well, I should probably buy it in Rostov though. Because how long would it take for them to build it? Yeah, 53 turns. It's a just a little bit much. Uh, you do need walls though, so you'll be doing that. Really, they'll be starving. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. I have, like, no money now, but... Uh. Okay, let's see. That unlocks Longswordmen. Okay, Trebuchets would be nice. Chivalry. Education. Gunpowder. Actually, I'm gonna get gunpowder first. Okay, so then, uh, education. Yeah, I'm gonna rush for gunpowder. Cause if I if I can't take over Delhi right now, I definitely will be able to with gunpowder. The people who like shiny things the most, the richest, I'm guessing. Yeah, I would be the richest if I didn't just spend all my money, but yeah. I, I pretty much am the richest, I'm probably making the most money out of everyone. <coughs> Which, I mean, it's not really that hard to do on Warlord, I guess, but... Eh. Wait, why can't you build that? Oh yeah, Navarad's still building it. 
10 turns though. I really hope I can get that. That would really help out this city. Plus 50% science. That would be another 11 science if I were, I think, if I understand it correctly. Um, yeah, 50% of 22 is 11. And then plus another 3. Does that get added onto it so it would be 25 and then 50% of 25? Or, I don't know. What does this give? Eh. It's like basically having two coliseums. Um... We have ten turns to burn. Sure, build walls. Okay, so we can adopt either piety, patronage, honor, or tradition. Let's see, what does patronage give? I don't really do much with city states. I know I can't get this yet, I just wanna see. I like this. I wish I could get this. When can I get this? Wait, hold on, I think this is it. Okay, anyways, um... Honor might be the next one to get. Well, because I'm, I'm not going to be at war all that much. Because I'm probably going to end up getting a science victory. I, that's what I'm planning on doing, I just want to get this content, continent to myself, and I just really don't like Gandhi for some reason. I don't know, he built the Great Library for me. That That's my reason. It says this is best for small empires, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Once I have a few catapults, but actually I can start building those. I have iron now. Duh. I'm just too smart for myself. How long would it take to build a catapult? Nine turns. I was just building walls because I needed to waste ten turns on something. So, yeah. Build that. Oh, you need a promotion? Uh, shock. Continue on down there. Catapult. My scout decided to explore St. Petersburg for a bit. Thought maybe it changed. Almost done with the road. A giant, giant road. I think I would good enough army to attack. I, I'm really not certain though, because again, as I said, I've never actually successfully taken a village before, or taken a town before. Taken a city before. Village, town, city. It's town, or that, ah, city, not town. Town's like that size, city's like that size. I already built that, um, go there. I don't know what they're doing there, they just decided that they needed pikemen right there. Against nothing. I mean, if they were worried about me, they'd put it right here. Or, like, down here or something. 
but not right there. Yay. Um build a camp up there. Gandhi still only has two cities, and I already have four. I just it feels like Gandhi should have way more than that. Unless he has founded like another continent somewhere. Okay. I don't know why, but for some reason I was really yeah, expecting to see that he had three cities and be like, oh my god, he found another continent somewhere. Oh, both got finished in the same turn. Cool. Do you have anything that'll take you two turns to build? Um, spend two turns building an archer. Build a coliseum. We need more happiness. I mean, we have six happiness, but we could use more. Build a crepost. You work on the National College and you better get this. Hold on. Focus on production. 14 turns compared to 25. Yeah. All of my yeah. That's... I don't know why I just said that, but yeah, that's like that's 11 turns quicker. Definitely. Measure what is measurable. Now I can upgrade my... Um... Can you do any sort of improvement on this? You actually can. I am surprised. Well, no one needs spice. No one wants spice anymore, actually, so... Yeah, I don't need spice anymore. That's fine with me. Well, it was giving me happiness, but I am about to go to war with them, so it doesn't really matter. Just keep... Oh, you can't. Um... Yeah, they only have two archers here. So I think after I kill Gandhi, I'm going to go down and um, take care of Cape Town. Oh, it's plus two. Oh, because it's irrigated. I'm really nervous about attacking Gandhi. I mean, I have a pretty big empire, or empire, army. I mean, I have a bigger empire than he does, but yeah, I have a pretty big army. I'm just really worried that something awful is going to happen, like, he ends up having a ton of, well, does he have money? He has more than I do, I think. No, I have twice as much as he does. But yeah, I mean, like, 
I feel like he's gonna pull off some sort of hacks or something, and then, like, somehow conjure up a bunch of tanks, and then, n not, not really, but I mean, I feel like he's gonna end up doing something that will make me die. Six turns. If someone builds that in six turns, I'm. G if it's Gandhi too, if it's Gandhi, I'm going to be so upset, and I will have a even larger bloodlust against Gandhi. Can I upgrade any of my units to swordsmen? I want to find that out. Like, can you be a swordsman? No, you can't. I think only warriors can be upgraded to swordsmen. Do I have any warriors hanging around? I think they're all dead. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, I don't see one anywhere. Um, so yeah, build a... swordsman. Okay, he has a pike bin. Don't know what he's intending on doing with that. Um, do you, have you seen my military units? I don't think you have. Okay, so he has a warrior, a pike bin. He doesn't even have walls around his cities. Okay, so he has two warriors, a pikeman, and possibly something in Mumbai. Nope, he just has two warriors and a pikeman. I can definitely take him on. And he still hasn't improved his iron yet. And I have 33 iron compared to his none. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win this. Maybe just a little bit. I mean, I, I only have two trebuchets. Should I attack Delhi first, or Mumba Mumbai? Is it Mumbai or Mumbai? I think it's Mumbai. Um, I don't know, if I go for Delhi first, then I can take down all of his army. He might, he will, he'd be able to buy, like, one military unit. And that'd be, like, a warrior. Because I recall warriors cost 300 gold. So... If I take down his army, and then I take over Delhi, he only has Mumbai left, which barely has any improvements to it. It's not doesn't have any production really. It has two tiles that will give it production. So, and one of them is itself. So I should probably take down his capital first, and then go after Mumbai. And then the question is, should I even keep Mumbai? I mean, I kind of want to. Because it is a coastal city that is actually decent, as opposed to this one, which is only there for the resources. I, mean, I guess Rostov isn't awful. I mean, you know, as a little bit of stuff. It might be making more money than some of my cities. Nope, not at all. Um. Yeah, I don't... I think I'll... Uh, I think I'll start moving up my army into position around um, Delhi, and then I'll attack. I feel like I should probably have some sort of units down here besides just this one archer. But, eh, that'd be the smart thing to do. I'm gonna get the scout here, just to kinda... scout. <laughs> 
sure, build a stable. Okay, I think I'm gonna start moving my army. Okay, you're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. I'm not done. I am not done. I think that's a decent formation. That's cool. Three, four, two. It's like a pattern. Anyways, um... So then I'll move... This one... Down there. This one down there. This one if possible down there I might have to move this one down there and then this one yeah okay I just explained that all so well yeah move there there. Okay, next turn. Oh, this is all in the same turn. Didn't realize that. Okay, whatever. They'll be there for the future. Do nothing for now. How many turns left? Wait, hold on. Did I build it? I didn't build it, did I? Oh no, okay, I did. I did. It just didn't do any sort of, like, special... You built it, or I just disregarded it. I probably just disregarded it. That gives... Eh. Um... Yeah. 31 science from here now. Making 61. <laughs> or beakers, whatever. The city's tiles are all completely filled now. Um, work your way up over here. No, no, stay down here. I don't. If he was, if he were to go this way, I'd be fine with that. But he's gonna automatically try and go up that way, and I don't really feel like micromanaging him all the way up here. And because he, if he goes by here, Gandhi's definitely gonna steal him. Okay, I lost my formation a little bit due to some units not being able to move as much as they should, but yeah. Um, just sleep there for now. Stay alert. It's come to my attention that you have a large number of units near my borders. Oh, really? I request that you move them elsewhere to avoid causing undue distress to my citizens. Th they're just passing through the area, don't worry. And I'm lying, of course. And now I have steel. Can these guys upgrade into... no. Yeah, we're just passing through this area, don't worry, we'll be in your border soon. Um, so yeah, send this guy down here, that guy down there. Send him right there, and him right there. The next turn, Gandhi will be attacked. And I feel like I'm going to win. I'm going to go ahead and have them build a settler for when I take over Cape Town also. Oh, unit can be promoted. Oh yeah, I forgot I had this guy being built. Um, try and join, but we're going to war next turn, so...
Let's see, has Gandhi gotten any more units? Not that I can see. I'm really nervous about this. I really am, but... Hold on, if I just do this... Yes. The world? You mean the no people that you know besides me and the few city-states around? Yeah. Wow. Attack? Okay, this isn't turning out well at all. Okay, since you can't attack anyone, go over here. some information that may be of use. Just stay there for now. Yeah, pikemen are pretty good against a bunch of units. But now they're dead. Eh, might as well move them up. I probably should have moved... Actually, I can still do that. Okay, they couldn't attack from here. Um, yeah, next turn I need to work on getting my trebuchets and bombarding range. And let's do that. Do nothing for now. I'm fine with that, he was gonna die anyway. Oh, I got a great general. Somewhere. Over here. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's down. Wait, that's a worker. I didn't want to move my worker. I wanted to move the great general. I was like, wait, why is the line going from down there? Ugh, 
hat, still can't attack. I need more, um, pikemen. Mounted units obviously are not good against cities. Or anything for that matter. I can do this. I really feel like now that my mountain u mountain units. Yes, now that my mountain units, I have giant mountains on the battlefield. You see, this this one's guarding home. Um, anyways, my mounted units are doing crap, <laughs> and they really can't do anything. Or any, anything that I pillage, I can easily build back up. <laughs> um, just uh, sleep there for now. Just do nothing for now. Just do nothing for now. Just do nothing for now. My horseman just looks so serious while he's attacking. I mean, he's, he's... I'm joking, obviously, but yeah, he's like not doing anything. He's just like jabbing his spear casually, like, eh, I do this every day, whatever. Yeah, that's why you don't do that. Really? Still didn't die? Now you're dead. I should have attacked that unit. If they attack me, I'll win. Because I get a defensive bonus, if I recall. At least that's how it works in Civ 4. They attack you, you get a defensive bonus. I'm assuming it still works like that in this. Just do nothing. It'd be a safe attack, but no, just do nothing. You... Work your way over... Wait, that's... Wait, is that the Great General? No. Where is the Great General? Still back here. She did a lot of damage. Well, two, but that's a lot for one for a unit that had like one health or whatever. This unit has... how much health? Not very much, that's all I know. It's gonna be dead next turn, I think. Yeah, it's two health. 
Might as well. It would have been killed next turn anyway. Not construct a citadel, um... Does it just automatically do the little... area of effect thing? I hope so. I'm going to attack. Oh, awesome. I have some information that may be of use. It'll cause 10 unhappiness, which means that I will have zero happiness, which is fine. So yeah, annex the city. Question mark turns. Um, wow, they built nothing. Um, work on building a water mill. Sure, why not? Oh, courthouse. Can I build a courthouse yet? Yes, I can. Can I purchase the courthouse? No, I cannot. Well, I have enough money, it just... just won't let me. You have no units left. Unless he has some that I don't know about. But I don't think he does. Um, you're gonna go and... I pillaged that, so re-improve that tile. You're gonna stay there and heal. You're gonna move over there. You're gonna stay where you're at. You're gonna stay there for now. Stay there for now. We're, in su we're moving in such an orderly fashion. <laughs> but not sleep. Just don't do anything for this turn. He's like, uh, yeah, you're, I didn't know you were gonna take a roll by. Well, I mean, he probably did know, but you know, he's getting all freaked out now. But I'm gonna take a roll by, and he's gonna have to deal with that. Monument, it's only going to take two turns. Go down there.
still isn't going to take any time, because it... Why can't they buy it? Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. Like, are they going to be revolting for a while? And then they'll actually start work Because it, it... I don't know. It's... I don't know, it's weird. Ow. I'm the third most well fit. And the second. I'm in tied for second. I'm in tied for second? I'm in a tie for... I don't know. Huh, what's that they were working on? I don't know. I can't view wonders, apparently. go to Moscow for now. Just stay there. Oh, really? Really, you're focusing on the barbarian unit? <laughs> of all things, that just seems pretty stupid. I still can't attack it from there. Really? Wait, hold on, what's the temple give? Just culture. Yeah. Continue the workshop. Yeah, that archer's gonna do nothing. <laughs> Stay alert, tell me if any enemy units are nearby. I can't see any. Just stay there for now. We'll act. Yeah. I think he found an enemy unit. Tell me you can. Thank you. Wait, am I not getting any happiness from the spice? I am. Yeah, my people are still really unhappy. And it says they're not unhappy anymore. What? That doesn't make any sense. No, they still are. Wait, can I buy it now? I can. There we go, now my people are kind of happy. They're still a bit unhappy. From the population and the number of cities. They, they don't care that we're at war, they're just... okay. I mean, I'm fine with that, it's just... I kind of wish it was, because when I get Mumbai, it's gonna, they're gonna be all unhappy and stuff.